been told a lot by me, Craig, and, and Morgan over the years, but I don't think we've ever told it in front of this larger group. <laughs> Probably not. We usually corner one person and tell them. So, <laughs> back in the high school days, I don't know what year it was, but we played Nintendo over at Morgan's house. If anybody, anybody ever went to Morgan's house, he had this Upstairs bedroom. He had the whole upstairs to himself. He was pretty cool. So, uh, we went up there and we played Nintendo. I don't know if anybody ever heard of the game RBI Baseball, but we were all big baseball guys. Uh, we loved playing it. We loved watching it. So that was naturally the game that we liked the most. It was not a very good graphically. Uh, game by any imagination. But anyway, we played and uh, we had this little buddy who just tried to hang out with us all the time. Some of y'all might know him. His name was Jared Reese. Uh, call him Jay. He's just a squirrely dude. But we let him hang out with us because he, he always tried to play ball and everything with us, so we felt sorry. <laughs> and uh, we were, we always played this game. In RBI baseball, if you threw straight pitches, you could get more home runs. So you could score more runs, and the games would be like 25 to 24 instead of 4 to 2. So it's more exciting that way, you know. So we would do that. We used to go, we, we made a, a strict rule straight balls only, no curved balls, nothing like that at all. So, Throw a straight ball every time you're going to hit it, unless you're just really bad at the game. And so a lot of times you foul them off, but a lot of times, most of the time you get a hit, hit a home run. So we had a pretty big rivalry. I was, uh, for some reason, the California Angels was my favorite team on there. And, uh, Jake Reese, he's the Cardinals, right? I don't understand why anybody big Cardinals, but. Um, <laughs> I know that's not popular. But you know, I grew up in Jonesboro, and people told me I had to be a Cardinals fan. So, the Lance James way, I decided not to be one. So, um, anyway, we were playing, and we had a good game. We were back and forth all through the game, and you know, I mean, who knows Jerry Reese? Raise a hand. Jared was not a very honest person. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and neither was he. So, uh, we we're having a good game, and we get down to the, the ninth inning, and back and forth all game. And, uh, I'm batting last, and I'm down by two runs. Okay, I don't know what the score was. Say it was 20 to 18. And uh, so I had one guy on the team that was my guy. He was a number seven hitter, which meant he wasn't that great of a hitter. But for me, it was magic. The dude hit two or three home runs every game. I just had a magic thumb with him. So uh, he was coming up. His name is Schofield, Dick Schofield very uh, obscure player. Uh, so we came up, I hit a few foul balls, so I had two strikes on me. And so I'm ready, I'm just ready, because I know a home run is gonna end the game and I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat this punk and it's gonna be over and I'm gonna send him home. Well, he pitches the ball and he curves it. And I had already pushed the button. Uh, and I whiffed. Strike three. Game over. So, I was a lot more athletic looking back then than I am now. And I, 
I was about 260 pounds, and I was quite a bit stronger than Jerry Reese, wouldn't you say, Greg? So, so I picked him up and threw him across the room and punched him a couple times, not in the face. I mean, is it? For y'all that were there today, I'm, I was a pretty violent person, wasn't I? <laughs> this is like the third or fourth story where I beat somebody up. It was Chad, it was Mitch. Now it's Jake, but he deserved it. And uh, finally, Tommy Morgan comes upstairs with Brian's dad and says, What's going on up here? And we, we like, you know, we, oh, nothing, we're just wrestling around. So I think Tommy Morgan is to be thanked for Jared Reese's life. Because <laughs> I was pretty mad. And uh, the great thing about that story, though, Jake still is in character. You talk to him now, right now, he will still be in character for that. Like, it's like it's a wrestling thing. You know, he is never out of character with the RBI baseball story. He's always, it's like we have a text string, the four of us going on, and he's a jerk on it. It's like, dude. But if you ever get a chance, go check out YouTube and just type in the Schofield incident. And Craig made this wonderful documentary about it. And it is very dramatic and very humorous all at the same time. Uh, a lot of uh, confessional oh, no. by the four of us, and there's some, uh, actually some guys that uh, went to high school during that time, Luke Sexton, some of y'all might know him, played me. Uh, he also wore number 60 when he played football in Madison, so that was a good choice. Uh, anyway, that was one of the great stories. I could go on and on about Jake Reese, but I've bashed him enough. <laughs>